everybody and welcome back to podcast number six, I think we're on now. Mm. Gemma is super excited to be here as always. You can tell by the fact that she's saying nothing on a podcast. It's a thousand degrees. Not quite, but not far off. We're English, it's like being abroad but you don't have a pool. <laughs> yeah, we are absolutely dripping doing this podcast, but we are doing it just for you. Rob, let me turn the fan off because it's affecting the sound quality. This is affecting my quality of life. <laughs> just the extremes we go to and for I, you guys. I just want to explain that I'm in my ear so nighty with no bra on and I don't look this huge and saggy all the time. I do. <laughs> anyway, today's podcast, I thought we would talk about Full Metal Alchemist. Because just recently we finally got round to finishing Full Metal Alchemist. No, I'm really trying to hide how wide I am. If you could just leave me slightly off camera, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> no. For fuck's sake. Rob's fat shaming me. I've been on holiday. I haven't been dying. Anyway, so we were just finished watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which, yes, I know we're quite a few years behind on this one. Nah. It's new, isn't it? So, I want to say that we watched Brotherhood. We haven't seen the original Full Metal Alchemist because most people have told us just go straight to Brotherhood because... It cuts out all the crap. And it's a lot better... It's a lot newer because looking at the old one, I like the art style of Brotherhood a lot more. Yeah, well, what what they've done is obviously they started full metal, but the manga was still running, so they only had half of the story. So the second half of it, they kind of just had to Make come, it up. come up with it on their own. A bit like Game of Thrones. And clearly, they've not done a very good job of it because nobody prefer well, nobody really liked to compare to the manga series. So at least they've gone back to that and they've stuck with it. Which, I'd say it's a good thing that they decided to do it again, just to... Because there's, mm-hmm. no there's no point in people reading the manga and going, yeah, this is completely different to what I've seen, this, that, and the other. So, it's good that they've gone back to it and stuck to it, and honestly, I think it was a good series. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. And I mean, it was one that we kept saying we wanted to watch, and then just never got round to. Yeah. Because I didn't feel like... I was that bothered about it, other than lots of people saying you need to watch it. Yeah, exactly. I had that same sort of feeling that, should I watch it, shouldn't I, am I going to like it? Mm, I don't know whether I will Can I or not. say something controversial? I don't get what the big hoo-ha is about that chimera. No. The girl dog thing. No. The girl was in it for two seconds. The... Maybe in full metal she's in it more. I, I had this thing with a lot of the characters, where people were dying or whatever else and they made this big thing about it but he was like i saw you for a couple of episodes and you've not yeah. you've not built this to be a strong character yet uh, i mean hmm. yeah it's fucked up the guy turned his daughter into a a dog thing but well it's not even that it was like the guy that was it'd have been worse if it was um the other little girl um you know the guy that died and yeah. his wife and child were left behind, weren't they? Because she was in it a lot, that little girl. Yeah, well, that's exactly what I was going to say. Like, with him, when he died, at this point he died so early on that you never really had a true bond to him. Yeah, but he was, like, lovely and funny. And what you saw of him, he was such a nice guy that it was still sad. And then the more you saw of his wife and his daughter... Yeah, but it's like when you got to the end of the anime... There was like, do you remember this guy? Do you remember what happened to him? Let's do get our revenge for all this stuff that happened. And we're like, well, oh, fairness, we don't really know him that much. And they did that. There was quite when it got to the end. There was like, we're bringing back all these big characters that you saw for one episode. Mm. And was that who were you again? Oh, yeah, you was that one person we saw that one time. Okay, so it was like they're trying to build to this big thing where all oh, the characters are back, but you never really remember who they are. I had that anyway. I don't know whether you had the same sort of yeah. feel. But yeah, the whole Chimera thing, there's so many memes about it everywhere. You know, like where the little girl and the dog are doing mm. like the fusion mm. thing. And everyone's like, oh no, it's still too soon. And I'm like, she was in it for two seconds. <laughs> Maybe we're just cold, I don't know. But uh, Anyway, I'm going to break this down to its story, its art style, 
and the audio, so like the voice acting, the sounds and all that sort of stuff. Um, let's give it a rating. So, let's start off with, I know we just spoke about it a bit, so let's start off with the story. I mean, honestly, I thought the story was pretty strong. Uh, it was a five-part series. Mm-hmm. Uh, it stuck with it. It didn't just kind of drift off and like have all the filler in it. It wasn't so like sub stories. No, it, it was a story. One main story, which the stuff with. So I, I like that concept. I mean, the only other thing is they kind of start to fill in the Elric's background a bit, didn't they? But that's because they're the main characters. So that's kind of normal to do. But they needed to do that to progress the characters as well. Yeah, and to find out why their arm and leg were missing, yeah. why Al's body was missing. Like it was. It was that was of, the main story, really. Yeah, there were two of them, really, weren't there? It was them trying to get their bodies back, and then it was the whole um, sins thing. Yeah. Yeah, so they and did that. And then the, the gate of truth, that truth thing. Yes. There was kind of three things running in succession, but they kind of all comboed to be was one all, there was story all the same, arc. Yeah, there was all the same story, essentially. Uh, which... I, well, they've been in five parts. I'm pretty sure the first part ended in the middle of a fight. So it's kind of, it just was a continuous flow on. I think it lost itself in the middle a bit. But definitely the start of it and the end was amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not too sure about the middle. I feel like it lost itself a little bit. Like, it was like, I once much it was... It lost itself. I think it was more like pulling teeth. It's like get to the point now. I was getting that sort of feeling with it. Yeah, and um, the whole thing with um, Winry, like this romance. I think that was a bit kind of shoved in there. Yeah. Like it was nice and everything, but I would have been just as happy if it was more of like a brother sister bond as opposed to a romantic bond. Possibly, yeah. I mean, maybe if you'd have seen more of them growing up together and... Winry was kind of... She'd be in it for a chunk and then she'd be gone for a chunk. Yeah. And then she'd appear a bit and then she'd be gone again. Yeah, I mean, it's because she was the mechanic thing, isn't it? So they only need a mechanic to be part of it, but... But if she's his big romantic interest, why doesn't he... Take the mechanic with him. Talk about her more, <laughs> see her more, write her letters. Like, he didn't care about her when she went there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's because of the old bond that she had with him rather than he had with her, but... It, he was so focused on other things. Getting his arm and leg back. And, and Al. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, overall, out of ten, we'll call it, out of ten, I'd give the story a, a solid seven? Seven and a half? I'd probably go eight. Okay. So, we both agree with... My favourite part, though, is that everyone thinks Al is the full metal alchemist. Yeah. Because it makes so much more sense. He's this giant metal dude. <laughs> I mean, it was a constant running joke between how small uh, Ed. Ed was and how they always thought that Al was the full metal alchemist because he is full metal. He's made of metal. Yeah. So it was always that running gag, which I always found funny. And... The what I will say this as well. Before I'd watched it, I'd never really seen much trailer-wise about it either. It was all just hype. And then when you see like a massive guy in a suit of armor, you're like, yeah, this is going to be a big, strong, powerful guy. <laughs> and the second he opened his mouth, it was just a squeaky <laughs> little, a squeaky little kid, and you're like, hang on, what the hell is yeah, this? Yeah, the voice does not go with the suit. No, it really it? doesn't. And then when it obviously finally explains, it, it's a little kid that was trapped in a suit of armor. You're like, ah. But that little I get kid it. is played down a lot. Oh I yeah, think yeah. He is actually stronger than Ed a lot of the time. Possibly. Maybe not stronger, but definitely as strong, yeah. Yeah, and he doesn't... He's almost like they've put him in this defensive medic role as opposed to yeah offence like Ed. But he could be offence. And he does show that a few times. Yeah, yeah. But I think definitely. Al is played down a lot. And he is actually a lot stronger than he's made out to be. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll agree with that completely. Uh. So yeah, we've got the story in 8 out of 10. Moving on to... One last thing. Oh, go on. The romance I did enjoy was Major and Hawkeye, is that her name? That was interesting, yeah. But she was another character that 
I mean, she had such a generic look to her that you kind of forgot who she was and she blended into the background with others, I thought, at times. But then towards the end, she really came out of the woodwork a bit, I thought. Yeah, but she disappeared for such a long time again that you kind of forgot about her. It's like that one um, near the start where they made out like Major had killed her, but actually broke her out of jail. Yeah. Um, they made a big deal about that, and then we barely saw her to the point where I forgot about her. Yeah. And uh, it's like she was the big female character for the first two parts maybe and then they brought in the general yeah the, what was her name i don't know her name i was. can't remember urza urza but it's the same voice actress wasn't it for both <laughs> as well that's what was confusing it was like but fairy then, tale urza the whole time but then they brought her in who was this big strong powerful person who was like yeah come on and everyone calls her sir yeah and then <laughs> Uh, it, to the point that it was such a big, strong character that you kind of forgot about her as well. And then you're just like, oh yeah, there was that one that was supposed to be the favourite to begin with, wasn't there? Oh, I love the, uh, the general and her brother, like their relationship Armstrong. that they had. Like, he's massive and he's scared of her. <laughs> general <Armstrong>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it was definitely uh, interesting, was that one? The way that they Best female it. character for me was her. Yeah, that's what I said because she's. I won't say that she's stuck around longer, but the uh, the made her feel more of a main character. She actually had some power to her, and it's like a um, teacher as well. I didn't think she'd be in it a lot. I thought they'd go back and see her, and then that'd be it. But she appeared loads actually. Um, I won't say she appeared loads, but they kept bringing her back for the I'm a housewife. <laughs> I'm a housewife. <laughs> they kept bringing her back for the I'm a housewife gimmick, didn't they? Which was, again, quite a funny thing. And it's still, I love how angry she is and how powerful she is, but then when she sees her husband, she just melts. <laughs> <laughs> and same with her husband. He's this massive guy, but when he's with her, they're just like butter. Yeah. Oh, so that was a good part of the story as well, when you got to the end and uh, kind of he'd ran off because obviously she disappeared didn't she she, would go through yeah. the, she went through the portal again because she was one of the sacrifices and then he ran off and did everything he could to go find her and all this sort of thing so it's nice to show that this big bulky person actually couldn't give a crap about the planet he just wants his wife back yeah it was nice <laughs> wasn't it <laughs> uh, so yeah there's some really good elements to it I suppose I'll agree with you then 8 out of 10's probably a solid thing once you when you really think about it there's a lot going on that worked mm -hmm. the only thing w that i'd say cut it back for me from a 10 out of 10 would have been the arc in the middle where you're just like can you get to the point now i think it almost needed to maybe be a bit longer as well so some of the characters you could actually establish them a bit more or they needed to cut characters i think there's too many yeah because you don't get a strong bond with every character and it's like their mother two um chimeras as well you two know, at the end yeah like for me, I can't remember when they actually came into it. I, I, I can't remember where they came from. And then just suddenly they were there all the time. Yeah, there was two, I think, that came in that was attacking him. Them, like, monster-looking ones, not like animals. Yeah, they came in to attack him, didn't they? And then, in the end, they just went, actually, we're going against your boss, and quite clearly we've beat you. Oh, yeah, we'll tag along with you. Yeah, we're a bit it was like they keep bit swapping sides so easy. A bit awkward, a bit weird. Yeah. So there was only a, there wasn't much that was holding it back from being a ten out of ten though. Really. It had solid potential. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to the art style. So we've already touched on the fact that we prefer the art style to of full metal. Yeah. We prefer it to the original Full Metal. I think it's just because it's older, though. Yeah, it's that. It's like if you look back at old Dragon Ball. Yeah. I don't think I could watch that now compared to the newer. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Which is interesting for the new Dragon Ball film that they're going back to that art style by the looks of it. Oh. Which is interesting. It, the film looks that way anyway. But anyway, we're not talking about Dragon Ball today. No, but it was just the comparison yeah. of the art style because that's older as well yeah i just don't want to delve into the whole world of which art style with that one for also all that hype for an eight minute promo for a game which just saying which apparently it seems like there's uh, that much people hating it that it's not even released part two today 
of uh, releasing it next week because I think there's so much hate about it that they're going to extend it possibly. So they're maybe going to do a full episode. It's potential anyway. Okay, we wanted a series, not an episode. I know. Moving on. I know. So art style, I'd, I don't know entirely think what I could say about the art style honestly, because very it, like just I don't know I'm just normal. Yeah. It apart w- from the bits you've talked about before with the cartoony like simple artwork you know for like some reactions yeah and when stuff. the over, the way that they uh, over exaggerate like emotions and stuff like shock they go down to that very basic art it's style it's just like an yeah, outline owl, essentially. it's just like grey it's just like a grey circle <laughs> yeah so I really like that about it but in the main way as well that there's no contrast to that so think of anime it's like I showed you the new trailer of firework that's coming out where it's so fancy and so pretty. And like Violet Evergarden when you've exactly. got all the landscapes and it's beautiful exactly. to look at. Whereas they don't have the contrast inside of it. They simplify it uh, for the but stuff. But they don't have the extravagant. But they don't have, yeah. Right. I mean, I also really like the way that they can flip on Al between his simplified artwork to his full detailed suit of armour depending on the series yeah. do you I know like what I liked as well how subtle um, they, ma- they made Ed slowly bigger yeah you pointed that out at one point where because you... towards the end he looked really big and muscly and well, like grown up it's not even that there was a one point uh, Winry said to him well, well he walked away and she goes isn't it just me are his shoulders looking broader Yeah. and then like a few episodes later he took his shirt off and he was like he is buff as hell. Did he used to be that buff? And I was like, well, I suppose this has gone on for a few years now, so it's kind of his aged and his... He grew, didn't he? Yeah. But really subtly, like... Yeah, so you never really notice it as much, but... Yeah, it was definitely interesting to see that. Mm-hmm. And the change in Al as well, because obviously his body had been locked in there so long that you saw him as a kid, then next time you see him is this skinny little thing. But then at the end, what was it, like five years later at the end? He was, he put some timber on, hadn't he? And yeah. he had like short hair and... Yeah, he like properly jacked up. He and almost he was, looked older than Ed. Yeah. So it was really interesting to see how quickly they turned his character around. And it was nice to see as well, actually. Yeah, they brought him back properly and you got to see him in his full, like healthy state. It wasn't just this little frail thing. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, I definitely like that one. But overall, because they'd shown the simplified thing of it and they showed good detail with Al, but they didn't also go to the extreme like Violet Evergarde and Beautiful sort of thing. Honestly, it wasn't overly stand out for me, so I think I'm stuck between 6 out of 10 and 7 out of 10, really. But it was just kind of average, wasn't it? Yeah. And it's a great concept with simplifying it and it worked for me I really liked it mm. yeah I'll probably go with six because it's kind of average but it was good like yeah but nothing special yeah I'd agree with that but then got to go with the audio now when it comes to we'll start off with voice acting big voice actors in it well You've not got... really they're in everything it's like they have this same group of people but like they have that crew the crew of the big people that they had in it. They had some big names in it. Uh, I was happy with the people at the cast for it. Uh, so I can't argue with that. I can't say that there's any characters that I had a problem with the uh, voice acting. Uh, no. I mean, sometimes it was a bit jarring that Al's voice sounded like that coming out of that body. But when you kind of knew you had, why, you it say worked you had, anyway. I'm going to say you he had to have that voice with it anyway because yeah. he, was, he was still a kid. It'd be wrong when he got his body back that it was actually... And to be fair, later when you see him, when he's got his body back and he's bulked up a bit, his voice is a bit deeper. Yeah, it is. Because obviously he's aged, don't yeah. it? So. so, yeah, it's definitely interesting with that one. Uh, there's not much more I can say about the voice acting. That I didn't have any problems with it or anything. And I was really happy with some of the main characters like General Armstrong and the brother. Mm-hmm. Oh, they were strong characters. Mustang as well. I think Scar was a strong character though. 
He was. went through this whole like story arc of his own. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, I guess that's more story related. Well, it's, I don't yeah, voice I acting. know. It's just his as a character, didn't... it's like you started off thinking he was the bad guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, in episode one, you didn't. I didn't even think he was going to stick around. To be fair. No, I didn't think he'd be of uh, much significance. But then he's in it all the way through. Yeah. With um, what's her name? The little one. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. If I'm going to be honest. I keep wanting to say Chi Chi, but that's Dragon Ball. I'm going to say that's Dragon Ball. Can't remember her name, but yeah. With the little panda, the panda's name. I can't remember the name, but I remember it sounds like Chow Mein. It's Chow Mei. Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and also Fiora, cracking voice actor there. Amazing voice actor. He did some seriously good work with the Fiora. It was perfect, wasn't it? Yeah, it really fitted the character. Uh, sound effect wise, again, nothing really stood out for me. Uh, just standard sort of work, isn't it? Uh, so. Again, I don't know what I should give it. Like seven, six, six, seven, seven. Like eight. seven? Cause it, seven. It, I don't know. It was good. <laughs> so let me just do a bit of math. Bit of math. No, that's a clock. I don't. I don't need clock. In English, it's maths. Yeah. So overall, we have rated it seven out of ten. So fair. I'd say Full Metal Alchemist seven out of ten is a definitely, definitely fair rating for it. I think if we had gone with the original series, might it, have been a little lower. It wouldn't have quite reached that. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I said, it, with me, it was just that arc in the middle that really. What was the arc in the middle? Exactly. That's the thing. I don't even know what you're talking about, really. That's why I haven't been saying it. It's I don't know. It started out where there was developing the characters and all that sort of thing, and then after they kind of developed the characters, nothing happened for like a full part. Oh, do you mean like that whole bit where he's kind of just ponting about spending all his money with his guards with him? Yeah, and it was just like nothing happened. I think I vaguely know what you mean. Nothing happened for a full part, maybe even two parts. And then they just kind of went, right, we're in the final part now, let's get on with the story. Oh, here's a big boss fight, let's get to the end. Mm. It was like, did you need all that gap in the middle? I mean, could you have summed it up to uh, a part or added it to other bits? You know, I feel like they just dragged it on a bit too much in the middle there. I also feel like their dad kind of just suddenly appeared. Yeah, they, they touched on me at the start and they was like, he disappeared. We no, don't know why he disappeared. And then they bring him back and was like, well, this is why I disappeared. Oh. And now he's back. Oh, well, I'm still mad at you. And he's like, well, it doesn't matter, because I want to be a main character. I want to stick around now. Big boss fight. Oh, we've kissed and made up and it's done with. Uh. Yeah. I thought he was going to die at lots of points as well. Well, he did, to be fair, in the end. I know, but that wasn't... He wasn't killed. It was... But the whole point of the explain that throughout it, didn't they, that he can't die because he was a philosopher's stone. Yeah, and the fact that he did die with his wife, technically. Yeah. And they said he died with a smile on his face, didn't they? Which he never had. Yeah. <laughs> so it was really good the way they touched on that, yeah. It was just it was a shame that they never really did much with him, I suppose. No, because I reckon he was very powerful. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I think they should have brought him back in sooner than they did. I mean, it'd have been interesting if instead of teacher and just had her as one or two bits, they'd have had him do most of her bits. Well, um, they had him and her together, didn't they? At one yeah, point. it just it'd have been more interesting to see that sort of bit of it. Mm. But anyway, guys, that has been it for our review on Full Metal Alchemist. Wherever you are watching this, uh, don't melt. Hit that subscribe button to see more of this. Head on over to YouTube. Uh, drop us a comment on there and let us know. Do you agree? 7 out of 10 for Full Metal Alchemist. I think it's a pretty fair rating. But uh, until next time, I will see you all later. So it's a bye from me. Bye. See you later, guys. Bye.